Hey guys, welcome back to the Blackwell Deception. In the last episode we saved Ryan, but now we have to save ourselves. And without further ado, let's have a look at the console. No time, kid. Abandon ship. Abandon ship? No good. Nothing I do works. Okay, so I guess we will just go to the door. Hey, careful. Oh god, oh god. You ready? No. Jump! Ah! Kate, was that easy? Bullet Dodger Geronimo. Geronimo. I that a can't typo? take you anywhere. Shut up. I'm wet, I'm filthy, and I'm in New Jersey. Relax, Ooh. will ya? We saved another one. Score another point for us. Yeah. That yacht is completely totaled. The two million bucks as well. We are so not getting paid. Not one lead cent. <sighs> okay, so the game starts now, huh? The Blackwell Deception. Character Spies by Van Chandler. Character Portraits by Daniel Rubinstein. Backgrounds by Indrek Plavutsky. Music composed by Thomas Regen. Written and programmed by David Gilbert. Ooh, breaking news! Crashed into the New Jersey City dock wall. Fortunately, nobody was injured. Who'd be calling me now? Joey, could you, uh... Right, right. Hello? Hi, is this Rosangela? Yes, who's this? It's been a while. This is Jeremy Sams. Jeremy? Oh, Jeremy, yeah. Are you still at the Village Eye? Oh, God, no. I left there a year ago. I work at the City Post now. Really? That's a big step up. Congratulations. Thanks. I actually hoped you could help me with an article I'm working on. Me? I've come down with the flu or something really bad. I need to follow up on some interviews and the window is closing. Can you help? Come on. You'll be paid and you can share the byline. Well, tell me what it is first. Awesome. Come on over and we'll chat. Thanks a mil, Rosangela. So we're moonlighting as reporters now? I used to work with Jeremy. He's okay. And the extra money won't hurt. The City Post is a pretty important paper. Maybe they'll want a spiritual news column. I doubt it. Hmm, new fun phone number, Jeremy Sams. We're gonna have a look around first, of course. A few months ago, they tore down the building across the way. They're building another one, but in the meantime, it's nice to have a view. I don't need to open the window. Okay, sure. Out of sight, out of mind. I don't need anything from those cabinets. Okay. You never know when you'll need a cup of instant. I don't need to boil any water. Hmm. I can't remember the last time I cooked with that. It's getting to the point where I should put the Chinese takeout place on speed dial. I don't plan on doing any cooking. Well, she likes Chinese takeout. I do too, so... I can't remember the last time I cooked. It's getting to the point where... Yeah, okay, she said that already. I think some about the faucet, no? This African ghost drum is supposed to keep ghosts away when you play it. It, um, doesn't. Okay. I don't need to move it. It's fine where it is. Okay, let's have a look at the photos then. Okay, we know these already from the last game and we can't talk about them either. What about the upper one? Okay, we can't talk about this one either. Joey used to screw with my reception, so I finally got cable TV installed. <laughs> okay. 70 bucks a month and nothing's ever on. I can't think of anything I'd want to watch. 70 bucks a month, that's I lot. used to stare into that thing for hours. Still do sometimes. You're not supposed to shake it. That ruins it. Mm -hmm. It's Griff, the P.I. Bear. He's 30 years old, but doesn't look a day over 20. Better leave him alone. I don't want anything to happen to him. 
Okay. I sold most of my books after getting my phone. This thing is perfect for reading on the subway. Those are old first editions. I don't want to mess with them. Okay, she reads on the phone. My radio listening day stopped when Joey came along. My radio listening day stopped. Okay. I've had this one for about 10 years now. Mm -hmm. I suppose it's due for a trim. Better not touch this one. It's precarious enough as it is. Can we mess with it? No, we can't. All right. My end table, full of random junk. I don't need anything from that table. Okay, sure. What's going on over here? Let's have a look at this photo. Yeah, we know that one too. It's broken, but it looks good on the wall. It's fine where it is. Just some old articles, bills, and reminders. Nothing important. I don't need any of those. Hmm. It's a poster for a movie called Water Under the Bridge. It's the last article I ever wrote for the Village Eye newspaper. It was about three college kids who committed suicide. Yeah, that was the very first it's game. It's fine where it is. Nothing else of interest, huh? Since I got my phone, I only use this for writing. Interesting. I don't have time to do any writing. Okay, and that's... if I need to use the internet, I've got my phone. Oh, that is so convenient because, guys, if you remember, if you remember, we had to use the computer for everything that we wanted to do research on. And that was quite annoying because we had to return here and now we just can't do this. The article is titled, The Rise and Fall of the Meltzer Foundation. I didn't write it, but I did kind of make it happen. Mm. Oh, Ghosts of the Past. I haven't changed the month in ages. We I'll got change an achievement. the month later. We, we, we have an achievement for just having a look around. I like that. This building doesn't have a doorman anymore, so they put in these buzzers. I don't need to buzz anyone in. Okay. I'm not tired. Okay. It's the bedroom door. Okay, let's switch to Joey. And let's have him look at look I look don't know at why some. She keeps this. She's not exactly musically inclined. Yeah, because she wants to get rid of you at some point at least. Not bad. Okay, Joey doesn't have any comments on these either. Lava lamp. Okay, I don't think that there is anything. This of thing gets bigger every time I look at it. Okay, she's gonna sure. take over the room if she's not careful. Wouldn't be too bad though, because it kind of looks good. Okay, cupboard. Can't do anything with that. Just some old. Okay. It's the calendar. An article about one of our old cases. Okay, so nothing about that. Let's talk Got to Joey. Sec? What is it this time? Let's chat with him. Ugh, I think I swallowed about a billion germs in that river. Next time you take a dip, keep your mouth shut. Ugh, I think I- Next Okay, we had that already. We don't have any notes so far. Jeremy texted me his address. Well, let's get going if we're going. Hmm, okay. So that means we are about to leave for, for Jeremy. Now. Yeah. Huh? Uh, if we have a look at the phone. Okay, we can just call him. Hi, you've reached Jeremy Sands. Please leave a message. Okay, he won't talk to us. We just have to go there. And we're gonna do that. Okay, let's go to Jeremy's then. Oh, interesting. We don't have a map laid out anymore, which I don't like that much, to be honest. Because you could actually just tell where we would go, and now we don't. It's open. Mm. Come on in. I'll be out in a sec. Is this how high-rolling reporters live nowadays? Hmm? Oh my goodness. Sorry, Sorry about, about that. that. I, haven't I haven't been feeling, feeling well, well, as I said. said. Who's your friend? Oh no. Is something wrong? Jeremy, what happened to you? Happened? <coughs> Nothing happened. I got sick. I just caught a nasty bug or something. Horrible timing. I'm on the verge of something really big. That's why I need your help. You need our help, all right. Sorry, but who are you? I'm with her. This is Joey. He's kind of my... Hmm. Let's go with partner. Partner. I see. So you two are... 
No, no, uh, nothing like that. I mean, a writing partner. Oh, oh good. good. I mean, I mean that's, that's good. good. Partners, Partners are good. Are good. Well, well, it's, it's nice, nice to meet you, Joey. Joey. I, like I like the hat. The hat. Anyway, anyway, how about, how about we get, get down, down to business? business? Hmm. Asking about death. Are you sure there's nothing else wrong with you? It's, it's just, just the flu. flu. Nothing, nothing to worry, to worry about. about. I'll be fine in a few days. I just want to get this article submitted before it's too late. Mm-hmm. Let's ask him again. Are you sure nothing seems off? This flu is making everything seem off. Why? Oh, no reason. Let's do it a third time. Out of curiosity, what's the last thing you remember before getting sick? Why do you want to know? Oh, I just wonder where you picked it up from. Hmm. Huh. You know, I don't know. I had some interviews lined up. I went for a walk. Yeah, that must have been it. I must have caught a bug outside somewhere. Serves me right for not putting on a jacket. Mm-hmm. Let's do it again. I can't. This is just too awkward. All right, Jeremy, tell me about this article of yours. Brilliant. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Do you know where the City Post news office is? I think so. This flu is making it hard to remember everything, but I kept pretty good notes. Just go up there and tell them I sent you. My notebook is on my desk. I go myself, but I'm not exactly up to snuff. Snuff is the word. Joey. Mm. What? So what do you say? Will you help me? I guess we will. Yes, of course I'll help. It's what I do. What does he need again? Remind me. What do you need me to do again? The first thing is go over to the City Post News office and grab my notes from my desk. Then we'll take it from there. The receptionist should let you in. I'll call her and tell her you're on your way. Hmm, consult your notes. We're gonna talk about him. I used to work with Jeremy back in the Village Eye days, and now he's dead. Not exactly the way I envisioned seeing him again. So, Jeremy, tell me about yourself. We never got much of a chance to talk back then. Me? Um, I was born upstate, moved here after college, wrote freelance for a bunch of papers, including the Village Eye. Not much else to tell, really. Hmm, okay. Well, I better get going. Thanks. I really appreciate this, Rosangela. Yeah, look, you can call me Rosa. All right. Rosa it is, then. Hmm, new location, the City Post newspaper. But of course we are going to have a look around The first. hustle and bustle of 23rd Street. A bit noisy, but it's nice to look at. I don't need to open the window. It's cold enough in here already. Those look like articles Jeremy wrote for the City Post. None from the village I, though. Can't say I blame him. I don't need any of those articles. Jeremy wrote them, not me. Mm -hmm. Jeremy's desk is neat as a pin. He always was a bit of a neat freak. There's nothing on Jeremy's desk worth taking. Okay. Lots of nonfiction and books by journalists. I'm not here to take Jeremy's books. Mm. I'm not here to... But you went there, which is weird. Okay, pile of photographs. Oh my god. Is that me? I mean, us? Yeah. You remember the 05 Christmas party? Yeah, that was a while ago. I was going through some old pictures when I came across yours. That's why I thought to call you. I see. Mm hmm. This was really five years ago? I barely remember it. Hmm. It's Jeremy, back when he was alive. I don't even remember getting this picture taken. Ugh, what a horrible picture of me. I think you look nice. To be honest, I think you look really nice, actually. Okay, nothing else of interest in here, though. Okay, we can have another look at it if we want to, but we don't actually I never knew to. Jeremy was so religious. Oh, I'm not. Not really. It belonged to my grandmother. I'm not here to loot Jeremy's stuff. That's just morbid. Yeah, that is true. Oh, I wouldn't go in there. The bedroom's a total sty. I've been too sick to clean up. Sure, no problem. But I'd love Looks to like take it leads a peek. to a back room. Yeah, I'd love to take a peek, but apparently we can't. Let's I'll talk, talk to, to Joe. later. This is awkward enough as it is. Yeah, that is true. Okay, all right. So then, let's just leave then. Hey, look. Before you go, I just want to, well, 
apologize. I know it's a bit weird calling you up and asking you such a big favor like this. Don't worry about it. Well, when I'm over this flu, I'll make it up to you. I promise. No, you don't have to do that, really. Just... just take care of yourself. Well, well that was unexpected. Yeah, that was. Yeah, I suppose. You know where that newspaper office is? Yeah. Then let's hop to it. Alright, we have to go there, and I have to say that was actually really unexpected. Nice twist, let's go! Could I help you? Of course, it's sad that he died, but it's a story, so, hmm. Uh, ask about Jeremy. What do you know about Jeremy Sams? Jeremy? He works here. His office is just up there on the second floor, but I haven't seen him in a few days. So, you don't know where he is now? I have no idea. If you'd like to leave him a message, I'll let him know you stopped by. Hmm. Ask about Jeremy's death. Do you know anything about Jeremy's death? Huh? Jeremy's death. I'm kind of looking into it. Jeremy's dead? Are you serious? You mean you don't know? Of course not. What happened to him? I'm not sure. What do you mean you're not sure? How did he die? What happened? I don't know. Where is he now? I don't know. Right. This is sick. I think you should get out of here before I call security. That's my girl, making friends wherever she goes. Hmm. Let's try again. Look, I'm sorry. I can't prove it, but I know he's dead. Are you done? Or do I need to call security to escort you out? Let's be persistent. Look, I'm sorry. I can't- Are you done? Okay, okay, she won't. Could I Let ask you a few questions? Yeah, let's ask her. I don't her. think so, no. Just leave, please. Hmm. If can we go inside? I was told you'd be expecting me. My name is Rosangela Blackwell. Sorry, I wasn't told anything. Really? I need to go inside and pick up some notes. Sorry, but if you don't have permission to be here, I can't let you in. Hmm. Ask about the notes then. I really do need to see Jeremy's notes. Maybe you could get them for me? No, I can't. Hmm. Let's consult Could on I notes. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't think so, no. Okay. Look, are you done? Okay, so... I'll be going, I guess. Yeah, we have Bye. to go then. Huh, that is not a good situation. Um, no. I'll wait till we're alone. Yeah, well, okay, okay. It's the elevator. Let's have a look around then. Um, what do you think you're doing? Using the elevator? None unless I buzz you in first. And in case you hadn't noticed, I'm not doing that. Okay, that makes sense though. Okay, let's have a look around here first. We have to get there, somehow. A waterfall? At the Village Eye, we had one plastic plant. I'm not putting my hand in that. Okay, nothing else of interest. I'm though. guessing that's where Jeremy's desk is. Okay, we have to get up there. I can't get through that door from down here. Mm-hmm, okay, we will have to... The city post. Um, where would I put it? Over the TV? Okay, all right. Looks like a standard switchboard phone to me. Mm -hmm. I have my own phone. Huh, maybe we can call here. Huh. The call button for the elevator. Okay, we will have to use Joey for this, I guess. Nothing. Okay, she will have to do it though. Okay, let's switch to Joey. Not much I can do in there. Mm-hmm. Not much I can do in there. Can you go through the door? Yes, you can. Okay. Okay, before we do that, I want to check out what else we can do with, uh, with Joey. I just can't come to grips with it. Well, if I didn't know where we were before, I certainly do now. Snazzy. I guess that kind of thing impresses some people. Boy, if I could touch it, that would sure be great. Mm-hmm. Just a desk phone. Nope, still a ghost. Still can't pick that up. Yeah, that is true. Is it normal for such a young woman to be working this late? Hmm, she must need the money. The conversation would be a little one-sided. That is true, but can we wind her? No reaction. I guess with the door open like that, a breeze is nothing new. Mm-hmm. Not sure what... Not sure what... Not sure... Not sure... Not sure... 
the call button. Okay, so let's enter the door now. We can't do anything with Joey down here, but we can have a peek at the notes and stuff, I guess. A uh, private office. Leads into an office. Can we I'm go? not just going to float through any random door I see. Oh, uh, unfortunate. Okay. I can't make heads or tails out of what this says. What do you want me to do? Okay. <laughs> an office cubicle. Empty. It's one of them computer things. Even if I could use that, I wouldn't know how. <laughs> it's the notebook that Jeremy asked us to find. It's closed right now. I can't read what's inside. Hmm. <laughs> I wish I could, but I can't pick it up. Maybe we can blow on it, but we're gonna do that in a second. An office cube. Okay, it's empty. Leads into an. I'm not just. Okay, he's not gonna float in there. What about the press pass here? Looks like a press pass. Give me just a second. I'm gonna add that to my list of things I cannot touch. No, <laughs> okay, Joey, you are funny indeed. Okay, let's try and blow on the notebook and try to read what it's what is inside I rustled the pages a bit but it's not going anywhere hmm that was to be not expected, sure what though. blowing on that will achieve hmm I rustled the it's not it's good. the notebook that it's closed hmm. okay that means we will have to can we just press not sure what blowing on that Okay, there is a press pass that might be in Looks like a press for pass. Us. Yeah, but we can't use it though. Okay, how do we convince the lady that we are helping? Hmm. Let's float down here. Stymied by another door, huh? Sometimes I wonder why I bother bringing you along. Okay, Rosa, let's have a look. Can we call Jeremy? Does that help? Hi, you've reached Jeremy Sands. Please leave a message. Hmm, okay, let's leave and maybe go back to Jeremy's apartment. And maybe Come on call in. from there. Oh! Hi, Rosa. Hi, Rosa. Make, Make yourself, yourself at, home. at home. Okay, let's talk to him. Jeremy? Yes? yes. The receptionist at the city post won't let me in. Really? really? I called her and told her to expect you. Strange. I'll give her another call after you leave. Hmm. <laughs> the receptionist... Really? Okay. So, Jer... We never... Me? Not... Okay, that didn't help. Well, I... All right. Hmm, how do we go about this then? Let's go home for a second. I don't have time, and if I need. Yeah, we don't need that, but. Huh, that won't help. What happens if we Google him? Jeremy Sams. No results found. New. Miss Blackfly, I knew contacting a spiritualist was a stupid idea, but I didn't expect this to happen. No sooner do I contact you than my yacht is a piece on the Jersey Shore. I'm glad I had the foresight not to give you my name. Don't try and find me. I certainly won't be looking for you. Okay. Huh. So the question is, what do we do now? I actually don't have a clue. Hi, you've reached Jeremy Sands. Please leave a message. Yeah, but leaving a message won't help. So let's return to this to the city post and try to talk to the receptionist once again. Hi there. Could I help you? I really no. Okay. Could I ask you a few? I don't think so. Hmm. Look, are you done? I'll be going. I bye. All right. We have to go. Nothing. We have to reach the store with Rosangela somehow. That's how. The conversation. Is it normal? Okay, if we tie her? That won't help, right? That won't help us. She's not a ghost. Yeah, exactly. Just a desk phone. I love the idea, but I'm... Okay, if we blow on it... Not sure what blowing on that... 
no reaction. I guess with the door open like that, a breeze is nothing new. Hmm. Not sure what. Blo not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure what. It says Junior. That must be where Jer. Yeah, we know that already, but the thing is still. How can we achieve something here? It's the notebook that Jeremy asked us to find. It's closed right now. I can't read what's inside. What about the Even computer? if I could use that, I wouldn't know how. It's one of them computer things. Hmm. Alright guys, but we have... I'm sorry, because we have hit the end of the episode mark. I hope I can figure out what to do here. If you want to know if I'll be successful, you'll have to tune in next time for... The Blackwell Deception. See you then.